there were front page pictures coast to coast today of an empty park yesterday in Baltimore. Was it a good idea? Gwen, thanks. It's great to be here um, under these difficult circumstances. It was an idea that was the best of a difficult situation. Uh, the authorities, the governor's office, the state of Maryland, the city of Baltimore, in protecting public safety, felt that in order that they could deploy their resources throughout the city and protect everyone in the city, it made the most sense to not have the game open to the public. What kind of business hit, however, did you take? And more importantly, did all the other businesses around the park take? Well, there's no question that uh, all the businesses in Baltimore are positively impacted when there are major events like an Orioles game or a Ravens game and other such of, uh, entertainment events. And when those things don't happen, people plan on them and they lose income. That's un an unfortunate repercussion of a much larger problem. And this the contextual problem for the community at large is more significant than any losses we'll have. Well, I want to talk to you about the contextual problem because you took to Twitter and you said very forcefully that you laid the blame on the needless suffering government is inflicting upon ordinary Americans. It seemed like you were making a very specific point about who was to blame. Well, I think by that point I meant, as in my personal opinion, that it is absolutely incumbent upon government and public-private partnerships to create equal opportunities for all communities and sub-communities throughout the cities of this country and throughout the entire country. And in order for the United States to continue to hold itself out as the greatest country in the world, in order for it to hold itself out as a country that stands for democracy, equal opportunity, and civil and human rights, it needs to provide equal economic opportunity for all people. And if the system is failing some of us, then it's failing all of us. Well, so what was it about this instance, this uprising, this conflagration, which is connected to the point you're making about jobs being shipped out of the U.S. and other points you made in your commentary? Well, having grown up here and lived here my entire life, and while I have not grown up or spent time in the neighborhoods uh, where most of the unrest has occurred, um, I certainly, uh, ha they are my neighbors, they are part of the city fabric, and there's no question that the diminution of manufacturing jobs and good, high-paying, quality jobs in cities like Baltimore and regions throughout the country, including the Hudson River Valley, the Rust Belt, uh, the Pittsburgh River Valley, and throughout, throughout the entire country, that the massive loss, the exportation of good, high-paying jobs for working-class people has been a tremendous source, in fact, the most significant source of civil unrest, civil misery, and occasionally you see uh, people expressing their frustration, hopefully lawfully. And, you know, you have to say in Baltimore, several hundred arrests, yes, a population of 2.25 million people in the metropolitan area and 700,000 in the city itself. That is really not evidence of a violent society or society that are lawbreakers, but more of one that is abiding the law. Do you worry that your comments are politicizing a tragedy at all? I don't think so. I don't think this is about politics. I don't think it's about Democrats and Republicans or, or about anything. And I, I've been very careful to not talk about politics. And this really isn't anything that I'm saying on behalf of baseball or the Orioles. Just having grown up here as a native and seeing the difficulties of factories moving from Baltimore, the shipyard areas, the manufacturing areas, relocating to foreign parts of the globe, it's difficult to ask people to work hard and pull themselves up when the jobs that used to be here for their prior generations no longer exist. That said, when will the Orioles be back at Camden Yards? Well, we'll be back in May after the road trip, and um, we hope that uh, we'll be able to put on high-quality games and entertainment, and that will, um, uh, that's, that's what we're charged to do.